I want your guys' thoughts on this. I told the customer when I, when I quoted her that she needed at least six yards minimum of mulch. And uh, she ordered five. Told me, and I said, I, I, don't, I don't know. Finished 45 minutes ago, and now we're waiting on the delivery. I'll call them and see if they can come now. I said, well, I, I have other jobs today. So this whole thing's getting burlapped. I'm gonna drop pins in there. And we gotta dig our hole over here. Southwest Detroit, you'd be digging for a full hour. Wasn't there, so you just spent an hour digging. Dump it like right here. Yeah. Gotta subscribe for Kenny. For Kenny. Nice yeah. Cancer. Oh jeez. At like stage four, six Fair months enough. or something. He says that this homeowner has stage four cancer in six months to live. But I knew there was a reason we stopped. You guys do a nice job. I got you, man. We're actually pulling up to one of the most dangerous ones on our route in Detroit, Michigan. We're good because the cops coming down the street. The machine went out. He coded. Uh, they never, they never brought him back. I guess they got him back like once or twice. Gotta subscribe for Kenny. For Kenny. Ready for another day? Wow. It's Monday, weekend's over. <laughs> weekends always go by so fast. Luckily today, I, I set Mondays up as side job days, so we got actually a big install. To, not a big install, it's like five yards of mulch. People probably laugh and say that's not a big install, but yards are so small here in the suburbs. And it's kind of a decent install. We gotta check over Logan's work. We had to rehook up the trailer. To see if he did it right. Oh, it looks good. Did he cross the chains? Is that DOT approved? It latched. Sometimes on these kind of trailers, you'll latch them, but the, it actually don't latch on the ball. Appreciate y'all watching. Make sure you come along today. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. It's your boy B. Hitch. Come on, messy truck. We got some garbage. If I had employees that got here early and wanted to clean the truck up. Did you clean out the bed? Appreciate you. Bad. Appreciate you. <laughs> Look at this loaded trailer. Got a lot of stuff in here. You're gonna need this too. You gonna be able to get that big guy? Nice thing about mulch compared to doing like topsoil on dirt, which is what we normally do for grading out backyards. It's not as heavy. Mulch is light, although it has been rained on, but it's still pretty light and you get a lot more in the wheelbarrow. Out of my 120 weekly yards that I do, I think this yard has already been on the channel like <laughs> four times. Just happens to be one we're doing again today for a side job. We're mulching up that. She wants like all new burlap blade won't be bad at all she's already got everything here which is nice very rare you get a customer that gets everything supplied delivered i don't got to make any calls so this whole thing's getting burlapped i'm gonna drop pins in there and uh it's gonna look beautiful like this guy that's what we got to do to get to work damn <laughs> good view it's a heavy duty burlap i don't like none of that cheap stuff Something you never know with clients. What's this commercial grade? I'm sure she, with, with this big mulch bed. She's she's been through this before though. But uh I like I hate when like clients buy stuff which is nice, but then they buy the cheap stuff and then they come at you like a month later and say, What happened? What happened? Why is this doing this? Why are weeds coming through? Well you bought the cheapest fabric. We got a little friend with us, a little baby bird. Got low show doing the manual work. Manual labor. I'm gonna relocate this bush. Put it right there. Obviously cover all that up. New mulch. Problem is you can't get too close to the plant. You don't want to kill the roots. You just want to get to the bottom of it. Have it come up as one. Then we gotta dig our hole over here. So that way it takes nice. 
good soil. It's a lot of junk. I think this, I think she's had this triple burlet. This is nothing compared to the stuff I was digging last year. Had to dig three, four foot holes, putting in gas mains. We didn't always have back trucks. We had to hand dig on every service. And sometimes in Mexican town in Southwest Detroit, you'd be digging for a full hour. You get down four foot. Even though the print says that there's a gas utility there, or electric or water, whatever it was, wasn't there. So you just spent an hour digging wasn't there so I guess I want to rip it and it's fragile and we got rain get it in there and then we'll comp we'll compact it down that'll work mint What's up, dude? Came to work? Came to work. We need another guy. <laughs> Got a lizard. <laughs> it, ain't for, it ain't real. But uh, yeah, the most of the, actually, the workers just getting everything prepped. Been pulling the weeds, been making these plants look better. Just makes it look so much better when you get the mulch in there. And the customer's like, wow, you did that? For a matter of 15 minutes. Make it look good. Make your prep work look good makes the job look all that much better. Starting with the most fun part where we gotta go around plants and stuff. But uh, we're getting it, we're just cutting out borders and then we're gonna get the whole thing done and then we'll come through and piece in any more burlap that we gotta get down. She's coming along. So I price this to be a five hour job. So hopefully we can keep moving, keep bussing. We can get out of here in three. Obviously this is five hours worth of work, but if we if we move quick, we go we keep going, get done early. Rolled it to you. Oh, I see. Yeah, just pulled all the way to that greenery down there. Want to keep them straight. You got stakes in your pocket? Oh wait, keep going? No, just go. You don't want to cover the, her greenery. Yeah, I know. Other than some lost keys, we're lapping it up pretty good. Get Just getting under the trees right now. The rest is pretty open, so there's not a lot of cutting. The cutting and figure out how to get around stuff just takes time, but for, burlap all that. And uh, over here should be a breeze too. That way we can just run one up, run one up, run one up, cut it around, run one up. Nap time for Logan. Stayed up too late last night? No. I thought you said you passed out as soon as you got home. Did you get it? Yeah. Staking it up. Coming along nicely. Every job at Macomb Coal comes out nicely. Here in the area, St. Clair Shores, Michigan, Macomb County, Roseville, East Point. Hit us up. We'll take good care of you. It's pretty much all cut in. Now we're gonna roll this up. Get this cut in. Like I was saying, the customer said that she was gonna provide all the materials, so she's got a lot of burlap on here. When we were digging out that one bush, it's almost impossible trying to move that thing because there was so much burlap. So we actually just ran out of burlap, but technically we got everything done. There's a couple of pieces that uh, we went around because we knew we were, she was running short where there was already triple burlapped. She's in good shape, so we're gonna start start scooping. Y'all gotta like and subscribe though. For your boy Low Show so we can get a raise. Get that raise he's been asking for. And lose the dad bod. The dad bod. 
difference with dirt you can be able to put a lot more in here and it's a lot lighter start on the left side we'll work our way out actually you know what i see some weeds i'm gonna pull so we'll start over here i'll have you do that i'll start pulling some of those weeds that we missed want it pristine might be easier once you get the front done about right up there you come around here with the wheelbarrow because you won't be able to get up on that edging <clears throat> I like the color a lot it, it sticks out it's, it's nice you just got to go through tamp at all I actually got to run back to the house and uh, grab a couple more things I'm gonna grab our big blower because they dumped the mulch right on the grass so I'm gonna have to blow that out and uh, the mulch pile got rained on so I think I need a couple more digging shovels because the flats aren't cutting it working off that dad bod I'm going to take off here in a second, go get that stuff, and then I'll be back. You want something to drink? Yeah. I'll stop at the gas station. I'll take y'all along with me, and then we'll come back and check in on a little show. Just dump it right in the middle there. There you go. So, uh, we're going along this edge, Log. She doesn't want it behind the shed because she likes keeping stuff back there. So just go all the way up to the tree. Jamming? Going to get me a copyright, though. Copyright. Monetized. Demonetized. Not even monetized. Yet. That's what you gotta let you just get. Be good, alright? Try it. On your best behavior. Ugh. Classic Michigan. Starts off chilly, even in June. Then it gets hot. Hot. Almost time to mow my yard. I've done this yard up every year. All new mulch, this was all mulched. It's bad, it's embarrassing. But the reason I don't keep doing it, I mean, I keep up on the maintenance, but my dogs just absolutely destroy the yard. My shop for now, I need to get me a, a real shop. That way I can park new trailers and all this. Uh, there's a ton of stuff I wanna get, I just don't have the room for it. It's a good car washer here right off Harper and Bombay. I like because they got a big one to pull your trailer in too. So you can clean your trailer off real good, spray it up. It's really like a dollar. And it lasts a couple minutes actually. Maybe I'll get us a sandwich to split. Uh, turkey and cheese, that was good last time. It's prime. Prime. Oh, I drop it. Got the goods. Now let's go see what Boss Man Logan got done. That'd be nice if we got it all done. I don't think so. I'll give him a call. What's up? What's up, Boss Man? I am. Is it done yet or what? <laughs> Not yet. How far did you get done? How many more buckets? Well, I'm done with that side piece. Oh, that's good. Keep moving. Right. I want the whole thing done by the time I get there. Shit. <laughs> All right, man. I'll be there in a minute. All right. All right, bye. So I got the side piece done. What you mean? That thing was done pretty much before I left. All I had to do was two more buckets. Come on. Let's see how we're looking. Probably just got to go through and level it out nice. I think we're going to go to that tree, though. It'll just look way better. I have to tell them that. Turkey sandwich. Got to admit, these are good Red Bulls, though. Is this the best one they got, or is there a better one? Worth it for $3. Keep that on there for the rest of the day. Saving it for later. <laughs> best one I got.
So it's actually still coming along pretty good. Probably been working another half hour since I picked up the camera. And like I said, I don't, I can't remember if I mentioned it when we first got here. I told the customer eight yards. And I'm always spot on with what I say, typically. I mean, every now and then I order, I like to order a little heavy. She went ahead and ordered five. I think we're gonna be able to make it work, but so far we're getting the piles in there. And uh, we still gotta do the big tree and we gotta get all in there. I'm gonna start spreading that out. That's looking pretty good. This makes a good pointer. This looks good too. I'm gonna spread all that out. He was just dumping it in there. Gotta get in there with the blower, blow out a couple of the sides, and uh, that side will be good to go. Looks good. kind of finished up spreading it i'm gonna go through and even it out a little bit more but you don't want to see me tamping it for tamping it tamping it for 10 minutes but uh yeah i want your guys' thoughts on this i told the customer when i when i quoted her that she needed at least six yards minimum of mulch and uh she ordered five and she told me and i said i, I don't i don't know so she goes well, let's see how five does i invoiced her for, for six yards of labor but uh, we finished 45 minutes ago, and now we're waiting on the delivery. She called, she came out, and she she's get she's going to work, and she goes, well, I'll call them and see if they can come now. I said, well, I I have other jobs today, you know, so I guess I guess they claim that they're gonna come right now, and they're not far away. We've been waiting about 20 minutes, so I'm just curious on your guys' on what you guys would do as the as the business owner. Would you guys pack up and tell her you gotta come back, stick around, finish the job? Maltz is here. GoPro died. What'd she order, yard or yard and a half? Yard and a half. Okay, that's cool. Did you deliver it last time here? Yeah. You guys been busy today? Too cold, nobody wants to do anything. That's the problem, nobody wants to work anymore. Malt is here. Thankfully, like I was saying earlier in the video, I did, I charged for five hours of work. So 125 I charged till two. So thankfully I'm still coming out ahead at the quota job. But it is nice when you can rock and roll because we were busting butt just to get out of here early. But let me pull it over. I don't want to. I don't want to pull up that trim. Ah. Who needs a gym workout? Just dump it in here if you can. Just dump it like right here. When I first got in this business, I was still in middle school, but when I started taking it really serious, I wanted work. So I used to bid everything really cheap. There's lots of times there was big jobs I did. I lost money on. Guess what? You live and learn, but Ready. I got the uh, experience on the jobs. Customers happy, and then they spread the word about your business. So sometimes you got to do that stuff, but you live and learn. I won't ever do that kind of stuff. Probably lose money. I mean, every now and then you get a job where you quoted it just completely wrong. 
Sometimes you just gotta eat the cost. But you learn to get better at that. That's a wrap on this one, completely done. Right at the five hour mark. Right at the five hour mark. Ended up being six yards. Complete prep, complete burlap. Fresh spring cleanup. I gave this lady an awesome deal. She's blowing that driveway off. I'll probably end up spraying it down if she's got a hose, just so it looks better. I like the customer to come home and have nothing to do but sit there, throw a lawn chair on our yard, and look at the beautiful job from a combed co. Appreciate y'all coming along with us. Make sure you drop a like, a sub. Love y'all. It's your boy B Hedge. Stick around. Check out some of our other videos. Got a lot of good videos. Love y'all. See y'all on the next one. See y'all on the next one. Let me get the jet. Might as well water the flowers too while you're at it. Just getting home, finished for the day. Nice. This guy's gonna come to the Tiger game with us tonight. Yes, if you haven't seen him, he's Kenny Rich. He's actually my blood brother, my only blood brother. So if you ain't subscribing yet, you gotta subscribe for Kenny. For Kenny.